Over the past few years, there have been more and more 1AA over 1A football upsets, FCS over FBS upsets. This year, there have been nine. Ohio University football hopes not to be the 10th and hopes to continue its record to 4-0 this Saturday as the 3-0 Cats welcome the 2-1 1AA Norfolk State Spartans to Peden Stadium. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Welcome to Bobcat TV's opponent preview of the visitors from Virginia. In talking about Norfolk State, you have to talk about the nine upsets that have already occurred this year. Again, last year there were six. We're through three weeks of this season. There are nine now. Started off in week one as McNeese State, a good program out of the Southland Conference. Went to Middle Tennessee State and won. UT Martin out of the OVC won at Memphis on the last second field goal. There have been three Missouri Valley Conference upsets of 1A competition this year, and one was over a Mac school. Illinois State went to Eastern Michigan and dominated the Eagles and won there. Week one, Youngstown State popped Pitt, and North Dakota State went down to Fort Collins and beat Colorado State. But the big winner this year, the Big Sky. They've had four upsets. Northern Arizona went up to UNLV and chopped down the Rebels. Cal Poly went to Wyoming and won. Sacramento State clipped Colorado on the last second field goal, and Eastern Washington won at Idaho. Norfolk State is a 2-1 and one team. Pretty good program. They went to the 1AA playoffs last year. Actually, 2011-2012 was tremendous for them athletically. In addition to the playoffs in football, they pulled off a real stunner in the NCAA tournament. They won the MEAC tournament, went to Omaha in the first round, and beat Missouri in the big dance. And a lot of people thought that the Tigers had a chance to go to the Final Four. So the Spartans aren't going to be afraid of taking on big-time competition. Ohio wants to make sure that the Spartans don't get the win. Let's preview NSU. Last season, Norfolk State was picked fifth in the 12-team MEAC. The Spartans went 9-3, and three, won the league, and lost to Old Dominion in the first round of the 1AA playoffs. Their 2011 success and a lot of returning starters from that team led to NSU being picked to win their league this year. The Spartans won the opener 24-0 over Virginia State. They went to Liberty. The team picked second in the Big South and won 31-24. And last week, they lost to Howard 37-36 in overtime. The Spartans were down 30-7, kicked a field goal with five seconds left to tie it, but had a field goal blocked in overtime to lose it. The Spartan offense averages 30 points and 374 yards per game. Junior quarterback Nico Flores is a Central Florida transfer. He's thrown for four touchdowns and two interceptions. He averages 180 yards through the air per game. Derek Demps has 160 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Brendan Riddick leads the Spartans on the ground with 260 yards and five TDs. Defensively, they only allow 252 yards per game. They posted 11 sacks, four fumble recoveries, and one interception. 6'4", 220-pound linebacker Terrence Pugh has a team-high 22 tackles. Last year, they played up and lost at West Virginia. Two years ago, they lost at Rutgers. Tickets are still available, but they're going fast. Call 800-575-CATS or log on to OhioBobcats.com. We've got you previewed now. It's Ohio and Norfolk State. This is Bobcat TV.